So just a really quick tutorial um, on using Loop Cloud within Cubase. Uh, I recently downloaded Loop Cloud and for the first half an hour it was driving me mad because I just couldn't get it um, working how I imagined it would work. So this is Cubase Pro 10 I'm running. I've just programmed just a very basic beat just to kind of work to. Uh, just to kick in a snare. So Loop Cloud, first thing you need to do is uh, install a track. So Control and T in my case. Uh, select from your instruments, Loop Cloud, hit add track. Um, it will come up with this. It will say you're not connected. So initially you have to open the app. Uh, it opens the app comes to the default page. So as I click off it, so to run along with this kick and snare I've got going on, um, I just want a shaker. Once you've opened the app, it can go to the bottom here on your taskbar uh, and you click it to reopen it from there. If you try and hit open app again, it, it won't show it. Again, that drove me a bit mad at first. Uh, you have to go down here at the taskbar and actually hit, hit it there. So along with my kick and snare, I wanted, let's say, a shaker. Um, type in shaker, hit return. It starts giving me all my results. Obviously, it's showing me everything I've got in my library and the store. So let's say I wanted a shaker loop, click loop. And let's say I wanted a free one. So you, it lists them all down the left here. You click on it. You press play and nothing happens. Click on another one. It should automatically be previewing it. Still nothing happens. When I click back onto Cubase, I can now hear it. Uh, now, when I press play on my transport on Cubase, it aligns this shaker to my kick and snare, which is all fantastic. So at this point I think, okay, I've auditioned that shaker. I don't like that one, I want to load another one. So I go down here again to open Loop Cloud and it stops, I can't hear anything. Um, again, I was very confused. So I think the first thing I did was clicked off it again. And then I could hear it again. So then I begin to realize, okay, if I ch choose another shaker, single click it, then come back off it, I can hear it. So at this point, I'm thinking, surely I don't have to keep, why can I not audition them as the kick and snare of my Cubase projects running, I was thinking. It just seemed a bit odd. Um, but every time I selected a new shaker, it did give me that new shaker when I converted back to, or switched screens back to the Cubase screen. Hit spacebar to stop. So it was driving me insane, couldn't figure it out for ages, but then in the end I realised, and it's a real simple one, you've got to go into Studio Setup, and whatever um, sound card you're using with whatever driver, you need to make sure this box isn't ticked. Release driver when application is in background. You need to unselect that. Hit OK. Now when you press play and you go to Loop Cloud, you can now select the different shakers and it will kind of work how you imagine it to work. As I scroll through all these different shakers, it plays them all. When I come back to Cubase, it's still playing them all. So that was it really, it was just and I've been using Cubase a long time. I don't know why I didn't realize that, but 
Yeah, you have to make sure the release driver when application is in background, you need to deselect that. Uh, okay, that's it. Bye.